We're privileged to have with us Randy's daughter, Amanda. <coughs> Excuse me. What was it like growing up in a musical household? It was amazing. It was very unique. Uh, unlike the majority of my friends, I would go home and at night when it was time to to go to bed, I would hear you know my mom and my dad practicing until late hours of the night, and uh, we were. I grew up in the studio, in and out of studios, and would set up a little bed and just watch all night. So it was, uh, I feel like I grew up fast in a way because I, I was always around, surrounded by amazing musicians, and it was such an inspiration uh, growing up. And I myself, of course, I'm a musician as well. So just having that, uh, you know, being around two people that I admire the most was, uh, was, was, was very special. Did you, Amanda, did you know from an early age that you wanted to be involved with the music, you wanted to be a musician? Uh, I did. At an early age, I knew that I wanted to be involved in music. I didn't know at the time to what capacity, if I wanted to be a performer, uh, but I sang at a very, very young age. I, I recorded on my mother's albums. I was a special guest um, on one of my dad's albums, I remember, when I was a kid, and other people's as well, and I felt very comfortable on stage and... I was always in band, so it was uh, it was always ingrained in me. It just uh, it was just part of who I was, and and still am, and uh, and and I still do it to this day. Uh, I don't do it professionally as much as I used to. I still perform. I have another career as well in real estate, um, but it's always been a huge passion of mine, and always will be. Yeah, well, you heard so much delight on uh, Randy's new release, Randy Pop Live. We'll talk about that in a second. But Randy, I wanted to ask you. <coughs> Given the ups and downs of the music business, did you encourage your daughter, or did you say, wait a minute, you should really be careful about doing this? Well, it was kind of both. I, she had a pretty realistic, uh, we didn't have to say much, I guess, because she was so close to it, she could put two and two together and see uh, and and determine the ins and outs of the music business uh, firsthand. So, uh, uh, but she was, uh, like, she, like she said, she was always a great singer. I, I, I go back to when she was... Uh, how old are you? Eight or nine when you sang uh, Milton's tune, Milton Nascimento's tune on yeah. one of her mother Ileana Elias's record. And later, uh, by pure happenstance, how old were you when you actually sat in with him at that uh, sports arena? Yeah, at, at the Olympia. It was. Uh, I was nine. So uh, we sang. So nine years old. Imagine that she came up on stage. It was like maybe two or three thousand in the audience. People and I happened to be there. I think with Mingus Big Band and Iliani was there with a uh, Brazilian All Star show, and uh, so we just were all there at the same time. It was incredible. She came up and really just sang great, and um, uh, Milton was very moved and uh, became a fan of hers, and they're still in touch. Mm -hmm. Well, we love Milton as well. He's still around, thankfully. Yeah. yeah.